Engine one is rolling. Ignition on Thunderbird two. Thunderbird 3 is on the launch track. Control, Thunderbirds 1, 2, and 3 confirm link up. Next stop, Mars. I've never seen anything like this. The DNA structure has completely changed. Godzilla doesn't need oxygen. That's impossible. Nothing can live in a vacuum. Well, this thing can. It's full of radioactive hyperpure acid. That's what it's living on. There's got to be a way to neutralize it. We'll just have to get a sample of that fluid. Here's your chance. It's Godzilla. Uh, run away. Run away. I left all my notes for my article. Forget him. Proceed quickly to your designated gate. Only code blue personnel are to remain. Repeat, only code blue. Are we code blue or red? Blue. How about code green? No, we're code blue. Are you sure? <gasps> uh, we're red now. Godzilla's in blocks 5 through 12. That monster plant will destroy the entire base. We've got to evacuate. Who can possibly save us now? This is the International Rescue Team. Request status report, Station Oda. Thunderbirds, evacuation proceeding through Gate 7. Dr. Bellows and his staff are still aboard Control Central. He believes that by studying it, he can learn how to control the monster. It's Godzilla! I've never seen anything like that before. Callan, you'll accompany me to Control Central. Roger. Thunderbirds, prepare to separate. If I didn't see it, I wouldn't believe it. You better believe it, partner. One genuine outer space type monster. This is Shuttle Moon Dog. We're in trouble. It's Godzilla! Ah! Hold on, Moon Dog. Firing laser. Grand, Godzilla has to be destroyed. If it takes over the base, it could move on to a larger target, like the Earth. The Thunderbirds are here, sir. Uh, Dr. Bellows is right over there. Captains Hanson and James, what's your status? Our situation is desperate. Godzilla has used its acid fluids to invade about 90% of the station. We have to neutralize Godzilla or destroy it. No way. This is a major breakthrough. The Commission knew the risks. We just need a sample of the fluid. We'll bring in the walker from Thunderbird 2. Callan, do you feel up to it? My helmet's aboard and laser's on full charge. All right, you'll bring it in gate 5. At the first sign of trouble, blast out of there. Right. She's got guts. Hmm, but she'll need more than that against Godzilla. I'm in block 5. No sign of it yet. Wait. I found a part of it directly in front of me. It's blocked off the hull, but seems inactive. I'm going for it. Activating laser. I've sliced a section. Trying for the fluid. Almost. Come on. Got it. Ah! It's active. Oh no, I've lost the sample.
Fascinating. The Strangium 90 was intended to modify the natural plant fluid so that it could deal with the rocky environment of Mars. But something has supercharged the acid. We should be able to adapt our sterilization foam to neutralize it. Dylan, the formula is being synthesized. When the computer's finished, fill the rockets with it. All set, Gran. Okay, Thunderbird 2, follow me in with a second barrage. We're right behind you, buddy. Grant, it seems to be working. Godzilla is retreating. Keep hitting it. We've got to distract it long enough to get the rest of the evacuation shuttles away safely. They must hurry. Godzilla has already started to develop an immunity to the formula. We don't know what we're dealing with. Whatever we use will only be turned against us. No way! Risa, haven't you already caused enough trouble? I can fix it. I've got a great set of gardening tools. You can't be serious. It's not your fault, Risa. Godzilla is my future, and I can't let that be destroyed. Wait! No! Risa! The Commission should have trusted me. Instead, they sent me Strandium 50. I've got to get into the lab and correct my formula. Thunderbirds, listen! Dr. Kessler's armed and she's headed for her lab. She thinks she can correct the experiment. We've got to help her. That thing is all over block three, Gran. We'll need another walker. Fast. There's no time. She'll never make it. I'll take a transport and try to head her off. If we can get her to a lab, we just might have a chance. It wasn't her fault. The formula was correct, but the commission sent Strandium 50, not Strandium 90. And you, Dr. Bellows, switched the chemicals because you wanted her to fail, didn't you? You wanted this experiment for your own. Come on, let's help her. How was I to know Strangium 50 would change the experiment so drastically? Tell Dr. Kessler I'll split everything equally with her. If we can't stop this thing, you've put the entire solar system in danger. 